Hey you guys, it's Karin Barrar and you're watching Shine On Media. What's something people might not know about the film, whether it's something in the making of it or something you added to your character or to a scene? I think the amazing themes that we integrated into the film, I think uh, we, individuality, sisterhood, um, and just acceptance of each other, which um, I think that are very strong values that we need to spread to our youth and I think it's a really cool way of integrating it to them. That we did all of the scenes, even the ones that Paris is completely invisible in, we had her rehearse them with me so that I could get a feel for where she would be and where I was looking and stuff like that. There would be specific things where like, I don't know, she would have to pass me something and they would have to bring in like a green screen stick arm to pass that to me. So it was, it, it got confusing, but I mean, as we started doing it more and more, it became routine. I think it was more challenging for the people in the scene because I would be next to the camera and for them, it's like they have to be standing there kind of just like wandering their eyes around. So I think um, that was the most difficult part because they couldn't look directly at me, but they had to be kind of in the general vicinity of where I was. The Coog wears this bear costume that keeps making an appearance like throughout the entire movie. And it's, it's a very clunky suit, so like several different characters end up wearing that suit. Sometimes I'd miss my cue because I was like in this huge like bear costume, so it's really hard to like kind of see. And so like there's like a lot of visual cues because like I, it is hard to hear as well. Um, and so like some of the times I just completely like miss the cue, and I'm just like standing there right where like everyone's just like waiting for me to like say the line, and I'm just like, hey guys. Oh, right, we're, oh, okay, right, 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 sorry. There was a lot of the, in, the incredible spirit of, you know, New Orleans was really captured in that. People know it's, it, it, was, it takes place in New Orleans, but I don't think they know that it was actually shot in New Orleans. And there was so much that we did, you know, New Orleans, there's, there's so much to do, you can never do it, like, even if you live there your whole life, like a whole lifetime of experience in New Orleans could not live up to everything you can do there. So. It's just, it's so full of life and it's, it was incredible to be there. We would like prank each other and uh, in the movie especially we had this little scooter on set uh, that is like, you know, uh, George uses and we'd sometimes steal it from the prop department <laughs> and we'd kind of ride it around set for fun. It got bad when the battery ran out, so. <laughs> I feel like I dropped a lot of things, probably. Oh yeah, there was a scene where I was doing the um, doing the experiment and I had to like bump into the table and I'm pretty sure like one time we did it and I like broke a glass. <laughs> hang loose, guys. I just learned that that means hang loose yesterday, so I'm really excited. Middle school, cause like, I remember like back in like sixth grade, I was, cause now I'm in 11th grade and I just look back and I just shake my head. We have a lot of rituals and traditions and um, I'm kind of a creature of habit, so there's a lot of things that I do on this show that I've been doing ever since Boy Meets World, 